Hey you guys, so I am on my way into Bye Bye Baby. I realized that I only have one of those like mattress cover things for Nova. So I realized it because she, <laughs> I guess had a really full diaper and it went all the way through to the, the bottom cover thing. So I'm here to get her another one of those cover things. And then I'll probably go wash tomorrow. That's the huge inconvenience of not having a washer machine and a dryer in your apartment. When we move, that is a necessary thing. But this store, it's like, like look, I'm, I'm distracted already. Like there's so many things in here for her. It's ridiculous. Like there's books, toys, like, car seats and strollers back there let's see there you go so much but I'm actually this video is about the essentials for newborns because before Nova was born we bought a lot of stuff and we did not need all of that stuff. So I want to help you, especially for moms who are first time moms like myself and who are still pregnant and expecting. I don't want you to waste your money like I wasted mine. So we are going to go over a lot of the things that are totally unnecessary um, but I also want to share with you guys some of the things that are so necessary when you have a newborn. So I'm going to check back in with you guys in a little bit and uh, I'll let you in on all of my little secrets. Hey you guys. So it's actually the next day because I got home from running errands and life happened. So I wasn't able to check back in with you guys but i'm here now to let you in on my top 10 baby essentials so when you're expecting i mean there's just so many things that you can buy don't fall into that trap because you'll end up feeling like you've wasted money so number one on the list is you always need onesies and socks these are just everyday essentials for the baby. And sorry, I have my list here because I'm very forgetful. I wanna make sure I don't forget anything. But, you know, just these plain onesies. Most of the time you're not going anywhere when the baby is a newborn. So they can rock these around the house. Um, sometimes she just wears those and other times she just will just be in her diaper because she actually sweats a lot. So sometimes we don't need any clothes. <laughs> and then socks. Um, my favorite socks are the ones from Carter's because they're not tight around the ankle. Um, they fit perfectly. And then they also, for when she starts actually moving, they have like the grippers on them. So they will come in handy so she doesn't slip. Um, and the next thing is burp cloths and receiving blankets. So I'm putting these together because they're really interchangeable. Um, well, that's how I use them. When she's drinking her bottle, she gets milk everywhere. So these are just to protect my clothes, protect her from getting like all that milk up under her neck. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to prevent her from like getting any rash from, you know, milk 
being um, where I don't see it when I'm like wiping her off after. So if I just keep this under her neck, she's good to go. And we normally end up being pretty dry after a feeding session. And this right here is a lifesaver. So a lot of babies, they like to just suck on something to be comforted. Um, I'm pretty sure all babies and pacifier. I mean, it, in the long run, it's hard for some kids, babies to let them go. But, you know, it's better than them eating more than they should um, if they're on formula or if you're breastfeeding, it'll also free up some of your time to have a pacifier and then make sure you get a clip so that if they pop the pacifier out, it's not falling on the floor and you're trying to, you know, run back and forth to go wash it off all the time. Now, this is something that's kind of like, I'll say an extra investment. Um, it is an electric nail file. I was too scared to clip her fingernails. And so this allows me to just file her nails down. And it's really quick, super easy. It does not hurt the baby. Um, I've tried it on all different parts of my skin and you, you do not feel it. So um, her nails grow really fast. And so this has come in handy. So thanks, Tiffany, for the handy dandy electric file. And you can get this from Amazon. Uh, I'll link it down below. So make sure you get some Aquaphor. They put magic in this little tube. I don't know what exactly is in this. But when I tell you it clears up any and everything within like a day, that is no exaggeration. Um, she had this like almost gash in her head from when she was in the NICU and it was really red and, and irritated. And it was like that for a couple of weeks. And I, you know, was kind of worried like, oh, she's a newborn. She's going to have this scar for the rest of her life. And so... I just, you know, tried, like, let me see what happens if I put this healing ointment on. In two days, it was gone. I can't even tell you where the scar was now. So I swear by this stuff. Anytime we, she's gonna be in the car for a long time um, or at night when she goes to sleep, I will put like a thin film of this on her um before I put her diaper on and she has not had any diaper rashes or anything so I use it to prevent rashes as well as clear up scars and things like that and magic I'm telling you get aquaphor uh the next thing is carriers so um I actually have two carriers this one is the Moby carrier. Um, it's very lightweight and thin. She actually right now prefers this one. Like I said, she sweats a lot and she, she runs hot. So this one's a little bit cooler for her. And, um, you know, it's easy for me to put her, strap her to me, get stuff around the house done. Or if we're out and about um, taking a walk, I can just strap, you know, strap her to me and we're on the go i also have the ergo baby which i really like um and she's not a super huge fan of it just because it's a lot more material and she gets hot in it quickly but i keep that one in the car and a lot of times when i'm running into the store i'll put her in there and we're good to go so this carriers are great for trying to get things done like around the house and they they don't want to be put down or walking around shopping or taking a walk with the baby and you know it's good for them to be next to us so it's a way for them to be up close to you and your hands to be free 
um the next thing i would say is an essential is a rocker for the baby so there are tons of baby rockers out there all different types of brands um someone blessed me with a mama Roo. thanks benicia um mama Roo's are very expensive but there are a lot of rockers that are cost efficient so find one that works for your price point because that is another lifesaver you're gonna want to put that baby in the rocker let them rest while you shower while you eat um you know clean up like get other things done around the house that you can't necessarily do with the baby strapped to you you're gonna want to put them in the rocker it soothes them a lot of times they fall asleep most of them play music or or white noise sounds um that is an essential so make sure you invest in some type of baby rocker the next thing is a white noise machine i actually don't have mine with me because i keep it in the car we actually have a portable one and so Oftentimes when I put her in the car seat, I turn that white noise machine on and she falls asleep. Well, most times there's a bottle involved, but she falls asleep and she will stay asleep. She loves that white noise sound as most babies do. And it also plays a heartbeat, a lullaby. Um, I believe it plays ocean sounds. And I think the portable one was like $10. So, um, I, I try to always have batteries handy because you do have to make sure that you replace the batteries, but that has been a godsend for us. And even when she was um, first home from the hospital, we would put it near the bed so it would play the white noise when she was sleeping. Um, that didn't work as well to keep her sleep, so we ended up part of our nighttime routine which i'll do another another video on our nighttime routine but we we incorporated other sounds for her to fall asleep with but definitely great for calming her down and helping her sleep when she's in the car uh the next thing is a humidifier and night light so i'm putting those together because they often come together um as one component um, I have the Nose Frida brand, so it is a humidifier, a diffuser, and a nightlight. It plays, uh, or not plays, but it has uh, really cool colors, like calming colors, blues and turquoise, green, and it will kind of go through all those different colors, and it helps us set the mood at night again i'll do a video on our nighttime routine at a later time but it also when the water runs out of the humidifier it turns off automatically but it's really good to have cool air blowing for the baby it helps clear the air and um you know especially if they're congested and i hope they don't get sick but my daughter got sick pretty early so it helped her get over that cold faster but you want to keep your air fresh and and cool and humidifier is the way to go and my last must have is a swaddle so not just any swaddle you need this swaddle <laughs> so this is the halo sleep sack and my coworker claudia got this for us thank you so much claudia because i swaddle her in this and she stays asleep all night uh if we were breastfeeding she probably would wake up throughout the night but I am almost positive that she would have longer stretches of where she does sleep um, and fewer times that we have to do nighttime feeds if we were breastfeeding. But because she is on formula, she drinks ample during the day and then at night she sleeps soundly in her swaddle. 
um all the other swat I've, I've probably tried maybe three other swaddles and she's like a little houdini she would break free out of all of those so the halo sleep slack sleep sack is the way to go a diaper genie you don't need it i bought one really it, because we end up taking out almost as much trash with the diaper genie as we would if we were just throwing the diapers in the trash and when she has really bad diapers sometimes the diaper genie doesn't even mask the odor so i have heard that the arm and hammer bags are really great i would say just give those a try um but the diaper genie takes up space and it doesn't always work as efficiently as i think it should um the last thing that i urge you not to waste your money on is a wipe warmer do not and when i say do not i mean do not buy a wipe warmer it is a waste of money like as soon as you take out the wipes they're cold cold <laughs> so it's pointless do not waste your money you're gonna be frustrated you're gonna be upset with yourself for wasting that money uh, yeah don't do it um i'm gonna blame that purchase on my mom though because she was like oh she's not gonna want to have cold wipes on her on her bottom so i was like okay let's get the wipe warmer we used it for like maybe a month and that wasn't even consistently because like i said we would pull the wipes out and they were cold so by the time it hit her her bottom anyways it was it was a cold wipe don't do it but my very last piece of advice is i know you're excited that you're having a baby i get it but try to resist the temptation of buying tons and tons and tons of clothes so oftentimes people tell you like oh make sure you buy clothes for when the baby's older like don't buy a lot of newborn stuff so i didn't buy a lot of newborn stuff because that's what everyone told me my daughter was super petite when she was born so i had to go out and buy a lot of newborn stuff and all of the zero to three month things that i bought that i thought she would be able to fit when she was a newborn in the winter time so they're super warm now that she can fit them it's summer and so she is not going to be able to wear them just try to contain your excitement especially if you're having a girl because they have such cute clothes for girls but just hold off wait to see how big your baby is and how much they grow in those first couple of days and then go clothes shopping but i hope that you got something out of this video please 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 like this video make sure you subscribe and also share this video with other new and expecting moms so that they know what investments they should make for their baby and what things they should not absolutely not buy all right i'll see you guys next time and have a good one bye